Hello everyone, Jose J. Garcia with Garcia Home University here, bringing you another video. That's what I do, bring you video, education. So somebody came to me, I was at an event and they said, I have a property just for you that I want to sell you. I don't know who this person was, not then anyway. And it said, uh, I, I got the deed, everything is clear. So I was waiting right at that point. Okay, what kind of houses he's trying to sell me? Maybe, maybe it's a duplex. I do like duplexes, but it turned out to be a mobile home which is even better, right? But one thing that a lot of people are still doing is calling titles, deeds. It's deeds. I got the deed to it. Everything is good. Mobile homes and real estate are very different, especially when it comes to closing on them. And the biggest reason behind that is because one is real property and the other one is personal property. What is the difference? One of them is real estate. That's a house, an apartment, something that's not mobile. It sits there. It was built on site and it's a house, a home to somebody. A personal piece of property, a personal property is a bike, a motorcycle, a car, a boat, and a mobile home, and a few more other things. So they all hold the same type of ownership behind them through a title, which is what you see in the background of me. This is a title. Now, retired, we're not going to get into that right now. That is how to retire a piece of land, a mobile home on a piece of land and turn it into real estate. That's a very good uh, video for sure. I'm going to make that. But so make sure when you're referring to a title, it's not a deed. I guess in a sense, it is part of, you know, it is ownership. But um, what you're trying to do is you don't want to confuse anybody with that. It's one is a deed, one is a title. Okay. If it's a single wide, single wide mobile home, you have one title. If it's a double Y, you have two titles or a combination of two and one. And you'll see that on the paperwork. A side, B side kind of thing is the way it works. So, so he told me about the home. It ended up not being a deal anyway. It was way, you know, it was outrageous number to say the least. So they, he did not know how to, you know, break down the numbers, what to make it into a good deal until I told him a few tips and tricks kind of thing on that. But uh, pay close attention because the reason for this video now is should you buy a mobile home without a title? I get that question all too often, and it can be a great area in a sense, and it can be confusing even more. So if it's a direct seller, I'll say this. If it is a direct seller, somebody that lives in a mobile home park or owns a piece of land, and they just wants the mobile home gone or whatever, I would be very weary because I'm going to do a much harder, thorough due diligence on that one mobile home than I would if it's a park owner trying to sell me a mobile home within the park, Okay. If they don't have the title, it could be, it can mean many things. Okay. And that's where the gray area and question mark comes in. Okay. I lost it. Well, that's not a very big issue because you can actually go, if it's in your name, you can go and reapply for another one. 710 business day, you have another one, $20 expense. I'll pay for that. Okay. But the thing is that you can't, a lot of people don't realize that, but you can actually pawn titles. You know, there is no traditional lending for mobile homes. There's no bank credit unions that will land on them. But that does not mean that something like, and here's a huge tip for you, buy here, pay here. Or uh, some of these pawn places where you can put a title, like a car, and they'll lend you X amount of money. Oh, yes, they'll lend against a mobile home title. And therefore, the title is not lost. It just happens to have a lien on it, in a sense, and it's out there somewhere. So now you're buying something without a title that not only has missing a title, but it has a lien on it. That's a problem. Right. So that's why you want to be wary of many things. You do a thorough due diligence, which I can make a video specifically on due diligence on a mobile home. But that being said, is you be very wary with that. If it's a mobile home park owner who is selling you a mobile home and they don't have the title, you know, I, it would be a little more gray area there. And I would say because I invest in many, I do invest with just bill of sale. Now, if you're in the state of Alabama, <laughs> good Alabama. I was about to say something else with Auburn, or but I know the college is strong over there, so I'm not. College football, they, they love their college football. Um, you can buy anything with a bill of sale, it seems like, over there. You can move them, transport them, you can buy them, sell them, hold I mean, just everything with a bill of sale. It is shocking, really. But uh, most states are not that way. You have to have a title, especially if you're going to move them over home. You have to have a title. It's not going to go. You know, it's not so hard getting it out of the county where it is located as it is once you bring it into a new county. That's where you get the real pushback and problems from. So, again, you know, it's something that you have to have. But if you are in a park and I do invest in mobile homes that only have a bill of sale because I have, of course, the owner there is backup. You know, they have the deed that shows they own the mobile home, even if they are missing the title for whatever reason. Um, it, they could have got an average abandonment maybe they had a big tenant they had to go through the process of and they did everything but go after a title we can do a bonded title maybe different options okay if you have questions on that definitely drop a comment below i'll be sure to answer this or send me an email jagarcia but okay hope this video helps should you buy without a title 
be very wary. Have every question answered and make sure everything checks out on your due diligence. And if it does, go after it. All right, till next time. Thank you for watching.